Our guest for today is Dr. Jana Lukese, professor and the head of the Department of English in Nagaland University. She has been a dynamic figure in the academic field and has contributed to academics through her writing as well as the medium of speech. Her area of specialization is in British fiction. Her published works among many include quality issues on higher education with special reference to Nagaland and from oral to written narrative, a study of Naga experience. She is the author of the book, An Introduction to Naga Languages, and has also co-authored the book, Traditional Idiomatic Expressions of the Angami Nagas, An Introduction. We are honored to have such a prominent figure who has greatly contributed in the field of education in general. And we are hoping to learn something new from you this morning. So ma'am, now I give you the time. Thank you for the introduction. And a very good morning to all of you, dear staff and students of Tetsu College. It is a pleasure to be part of your special occasion 2020 Postgraduate Precious Day. Yes, it is good to see Teto College growing and excelling over the years. And I wish each and every fresher all the very best as you embark on a new journey in this college. Yes, we do not know what the future has in store for us. We do not know what 2021 will unfurl, but we can all prepare ourselves by learning from our experiences, experiences both good and bad. So this morning, I thought I will share with you a few things which have been on my mind as the year comes to an end. We all know that because of COVID-19, we were transported into a different world, a strange world, the so-called world of new normal, of masks and sanitizers, of quarantines and lockdowns. And yes, it was, there was full of uh, confusion and fear, suspicion and rumors, threats and blame games. And uh, it is not surprising that tribalism too reared its ugly head and uh, social media kept churning claims and counterclaims 24-7. However, in spite of all this commotion and chaos, the guiding light or the silver lining is the fact that our Frontline workers kept doing what they had to do each day. Yes, and someone shared about a story about what was happening in one of the quarantine centers of how as the returnees were returning and flooding into the quarantine center from all over the place, they were overwhelmed by the enormity of the situation. This was something which they had not tackled before. They thought they were prepared, but suddenly they found themselves in a state of uh, unpreparedness, so to say. But in spite of all these, they sat down to work and started doing what they had to do each day of how at the end of the day, they were so relieved and happy, even though they were so tired of having done the day's work as best as they can. As such, reflecting on the year 2020, we can learn some major lessons. Today, let us be reminded afresh that we must never lose sight of our God-given qualities of loving kindness, of fellow feeling with our people. In times, even in times of crisis, 
and uncertainty and stress. Let us not forget to do what must be done, what the task is at hand. So too, students may dream of the future, of being successful in life, but if they do not do the work at hand today, the seemingly small things, attending classes, writing their assignments, performing their tests and their regular studies, they cannot expect to be successful because these seemingly small things are the stepping stones to future success. Again, COVID-19 has further digitized our world. Yes, we have now, our, our world is so full of the online classes, of the online examinations, of the webinars, and of these virtual events and programs like the one that we are having today. Yes, technology, internet, mobile phones can help us so much. They are great aids. But let us remember that they must not consume our days and nights even. And we should be aware that the dangers are just a click away. COVID or no COVID, our society is again prone to indulge in negative tribalism. It is only natural that we love our own tribe. But that does not mean that our members can do no wrong, can commit no mistake, and the other is always at fault. As part of higher education, you are in a good position to lead the way towards better understanding and lasting peace in our society. In conclusion, to sum up, one, never let go of one's God-given values and goodwill, even in times of stress, uncertainty, and crisis. Two, do today what must be done. Try to excel in the seemingly small tasks at hand, and you will be investing in the future success. Three, Use technology, but not ruled by it. In using social media, remember to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. So never go to social media when you are angry, spurred by the moment. For unity of the people can be very fragile down with negative tribalism, you lead the way for lasting peace and unity. Begin with you today. Thank you.